locks do you have on that door? Hurry, but see, somebody tried to... You know, yeah, they trashed your place. I heard about that. Yeah, well, it wasn't just that. They were pushing me around in Angel Square and I hit my head, and then somebody put LSD in my drink at ultraviolet. What? Yeah, Al had to take me to the clinic. Oh, my God. No wonder you're being careful. Yeah. I keep on wondering what they're going to do next. Jen, this is gorgeous. I know. I loved it from the minute I saw it. But wait, there's more. More? Can't go to a wedding with a bare neckline now, can we? Oh, Jen, this is gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's too, it's too much. Just imagine how good it's going to look on you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Jen, I am so excited about tomorrow. You and Joe, you're going to be the happiest couple in the whole wide world. You know what? We are. I just wish... What? You know, I just... I, I want this to work so bad, Marcy. I want to be the person Joe believes in. Well, then be that person, Jen. It's just everything I've done. You know, all the stuff with Christian and then all the lies I told and then marrying Rex just to spite Joe. Was... I have to prove that I'm past all that, you know? You will. You will. Because you finally found the man you were meant to love. And so have you. You think so? <sighs> Hello. Well, look, I need to know, Jen. You need to be honest with me, all right? Because, you know, you've got way more experience than I have. And then how do you tell when it's real? Sometimes it's just hard to believe that Al really loves me. Are you kidding me? Al's crazy about you. <laughs> do you see the way he looks at you? Al Holden adores you. <laughs> wow, I've never had anything this gorgeous. You're such an amazing friend. No, you. I mean, come on, after everything. and I really almost blew it for good when I married Rex, didn't I? You were confused. <laughs> well, you stuck by me. Thank you. I wouldn't want anyone else to be my maid of honor. Thanks. <laughs> so, what are you going to do with your hair? Want you to try something new? Oh, yeah, I don't know, maybe. Maybe wear it up. You know, you have such a pretty face. Oh, <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> so, you know, I'm surprised that you're not someplace with Joe tonight. You know, someplace really romantic. He's on a retreat. A retreat? Yeah, I guess it's sort of like a bachelor party for ministers. <laughs> <laughs> even if you were here, I, I wouldn't want to be with them because I want our wedding night to just be, you know, special, perfect, just like the first time. I want my first time to be special, too. <laughs> Wait, uh, you and Al haven't... But that one time I, I came over and you two were in the bed. That was just, you know, I was helping him through a really hard time. <laughs> <laughs> So, when? I don't know, Jen. I really want to. I just, I just don't want to disappoint him. Oh no, you won't. Come on. Uh, Al's had a lot of experience. You know. See, the only compliment I ever get about my looks is that I have a pretty face or pretty eyes. And what that means is that people just don't want to even think about my body. No, no, Marcy. That's not what that means. I'm afraid. What? I'm afraid to be naked in front of somebody. <laughs> you and somebody you love? Especially somebody I love. Hello? Where are you? Forget about me. Where are you? Right outside Marcy Walsh's dorm room. Trust me, she's never going to know what hit her. <laughs> Jen, you have such amazing taste. <laughs> this is gorgeous. <laughs> I have something for you, too. Uh, something borrowed for the wedding. But I want to give it to you tomorrow, okay? No problem. Hey, would you mind looking at some of the things that I picked out for the, you know, the pre-rush thing for Sigma Delta Delta? Why do you care about that stupid sorority? Well, I don't know. I mean, it may sound weird, but, you know, I thought it would kind of be cool to have sisters, you know? Since you grew up with all brothers. Yeah. But, I mean, these Sigma Delts... Are you sure you're going to be okay with them? Yeah, they really admire me. I mean, they were really impressed when I stood up for peace. <sighs> okay, and, and you're sure they weren't just maybe using you? No, I mean, for what? Well, first off, you're a straight-A student. Maybe they just want some free tutoring. Well, that's okay. I mean, if they need help, I'll be glad to give it to them. I cased the place out earlier. This is the quietest we're going to get it. No problem. Great. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, I will see you tomorrow. Don't worry, I won't be late. <laughs>
I'm counting on you. Lock all those locks. I will. Bye. Bye. I'm serious. Lock them. You know, I got carried away. You're all right, you know that? Not many guys would take chances like you did to help their girl. My sister's lucky to have you around. You know, I'm not screwing things up. Hey, let me tell you something about your sister. You know, she is the most amazing woman in the world. I'd do anything for her. Then you're all right in my book. Come on. Let's walk out of here while we're still free men, huh? Yeah, I'm with that. still gonna get hers. <clears throat> gosh, gosh, Marty, I didn't realize that you guys were coming by. Gotta hurry, Sister Marcy. No, okay. Mm. I'm just trying on my maid of honor dress so that I'm gonna wear tomorrow to Jen's wedding and then I... 